Now this uh, question number 93, it's a question of connected motion. It says that three blocks A, B and C of masses 4 kg, 2 kg and 1 kg. As you can see here, A is of uh, 4 kg, B is of 2 kg and C is of 1 kg. And uh, they are in contact on a frictionless surface. Friction is absent. If a force of 14 Newton is applied on the 4 kg block, like they have shown the arrow and this 14 Newton force has been applied here. Now they want the contact force between A and B. Between A and B the contact force is required. Either you can use the free body diagram technique or if you want to solve it quickly, try to see what is the overall acceleration of the entire system with the help of this 14 Newton force. That you use A is equal to force upon mass. Like here I can say A is equal to total force upon total mass this 14 Newton force is being applied on the entire system and the total mass here is 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 kg. So the total acceleration of the system comes out to be 2 meter per second square as you can see here. Isn't it? Now see the contact force between A and B that is responsible for the motion of only these two bodies. In forward direction if you want that the contact force is moving this 2 plus 1 3 kg with the same acceleration. So that contact force, if I denote it by R, then that force is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass is 3 kg multiplied by this acceleration 2 and that makes it 6 Newton. So contact force between A and B, that will be 6 Newton and for that purpose the most appropriate answer will be the third one and that is 6 Newton. So that is the answer to question number 93. Now let us move on to question number 94. Now in this question 94, as you can see, this question is based on Gauss's law. Here it is written that the electric field in a certain region is acting radially outward and is given by E is equal to AR. You should understand here that this E is variable electric field. A is a constant and R is a variable. It is radially outward moving electric field. A charge contained in a sphere of radius A centered at the origin of the field will be given by. Now if you use the Gauss's law which says that integral e dot ds is equal to q net enclosed which you are supposed to calculate here upon epsilon naught, is not it? This is what is Gauss's law. Now e and ds here will be in the same direction so angle will be taken to be 0. If you operate the left hand side you will find electric field you will write ar and this area will be the surface area of that sphere that is 4 pi r square this is 4 pi r square and this will be q enclosed upon epsilon naught. Now they have demanded the expression for particular value of r and that is radius a. So instead of r you should write down a and in total if you see this q enclosed so that will be 4 pi epsilon naught a and for r if I substitute a small a that is the radius so that will be a q and for that matter you will find that the last option that is the fourth option is the most appropriate one for the answer of this question 94. So I will mark answer 4 for this question 94. Now let us move on to next question that is question 95. 